Epicor Eclipse Simplified, where every topic is broken down into a bite-sized chunk. Let's dive in. So you just got hired to do AR. Let's make an AR category. Set an image. Start with a blank screen. There are a few widgets you're going to want to add. Go back to main menu and AR. Add widgets. Add the open order status review queue, and we're going to choose only the credit items. From now on, this will populate anytime there's a sales order that takes a customer over their credit limit. There's a lot more you can do with NAR, as you can obviously tell, but this is the foundational widget setup that you need on day one. Now, let's talk about what you can do within each widget. Basic and customer information is here, but if they require a PO or a release number, you can check these boxes to make that mandatory. Credit controls, which is also under pricing and credit controls, allows you to mark somebody's COD, change their terms, your credit limit. It also allows you to exclude customer service charges, as well as a whole host of other things. Notice authorized personnel. This is why you need contact maintenance because you can limit only certain contacts to buy on this account and you can give them individual credit limits as well. One thing I wanna note about this no order entry allowed always, you must be careful because it could block you from even taking a payment. There's a control record that your team knows about and it's already been set. So you need to know if this set to no or all or ship to only customers. From here, you can also set up additional activity triggers, which is for invoices and statement emailing straight to the customer, automatic. And under pricing, you can enter sales tax information such as resale, nonprofit information, et cetera. Also note, in additional, you can do product certification, and this is where you would put in an EPA license, for example, if you were selling refrigerant. AR inquiry is where you can find out what the customer's credit limit is compared to open credit. Here you can see that the customer only has one invoice outstanding, not been paid for. Normal default terms are 10 days and they have $2,999 available. Note that your buckets here may look different. These are set up when the system goes live. And so your IT team may have decided to word these slightly differently or even have different lengths of time altogether. This view can be changed. All of these options here are found in the menu paths. If a customer calls up and wants a statement sent to them, you can do that straight from here for that one customer. And you can print email or fax. In contact maintenance, you can see that we are tied to the entity of my Eclipse test account. We have a phone number that you can call, but you also have this web order entry information. If you have a website that's being managed, this is where you would enter in login and password information, as well as other information, such as order credit limit. You'll notice our credit review queue has one item in it. This is another queue you'll need to watch carefully. In fact, I recommend setting it so that it flashes on change and you make it an annoying color. This hinges partially on how you have the customer set up. You'll notice this customer is set up to not print a shipping ticket if credit limits exceeded. So now we have to release the order and we do that by going into the queue. We can release the hold, we can view the order, we can even do an AR inquiry about the customer straight from this screen. Of course, all of the options are in here right-clicked on it, and we can go to totals. Notice that you have the option here under payment to do a credit override and enter a specific credit override amount. That can be done on the sales order level. It can also be done right in here from the order options. 
So a simple releasing of the hold will clear this from your queue and allow the ticket to print. Or you can do a credit limit override right within the sales order. AR collection queue is the one where you'll spend most of your time. It's the granddaddy of all queues. So let's dive into that a little bit deeper. So you can see here that I have all branches set up. And you can see that this customer, Heating and Cooling, has a total AR balance of $596 and available credit to 403. And if you right click, you'll get a whole host of menu options that we'll zoom in on here. You can log a call, which makes an internal note on the person's account, which you can then view in the activity log, which you can see is part of the inquiry sub menu. You can go straight to pretty much everything you need about the customer by right clicking on the customer line in the AR collection queue. You can also click on the little spyglass over on the right of the AR collection queue, and you can change your view. You can go to this AR training, and you can actually set up your own parameters. If you click on options, and you can see if your sales to AR percentage is down by 10% code at yellow, 20% code at red, et cetera. You can play with these parameters and see how they work for you. Create your favorite shortcuts and be sure to sort these however it makes sense for you. One thing that will already be set up for you will be the terms codes. I do want to note that you can have discounts and service charges based on the invoice date or based on the calendar month end date. You can also put minimum charges in here as well as a few other things. Please do note our disclaimer and do not get yourself into trouble by trying to do something you have not been trained to do by your own company. We always encourage you to ask questions early and often.